and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth sincerity in the four corners of the earth. You know, fighting that good fight of faith, man. You know, we were scattered into the four corners of the earth. But the spirit is wherever Israelites are at. Whoever believes on Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. And as the scripture says, he loveth none but those that dwell with wisdom. So if you don't know this truth, the Lord don't love you. Okay. Because he's not going to give, he's not going to love anybody who don't know him. But to, to, to stay on topic, you know, sometimes I'm pretty sure that um, Akium don't mean this. But I always hear that, you know, certain men say it and I don't think they do it on purpose or they even mean it. But they always talk about how. You know, Esau just mad because his blessing was stolen and Esau trying to get his blessing back. But the blessing was never his. And that's why I'm reading this scripture right here. Because it was prophesied all the way in the beginning that it would be enmity between thy seed and her seed. And who is the thigh? The serpent, the devil. Who is Esau Edom known as? The devil. All right. And we all know that the woman don't carry a seed. All right. So who is the her seed? That's talking about Israel. Let's back that up real quick and then come back. Got to back everything up with scripture. I have likened Zion, the daughter of Zion, to a comely and delicate woman. So Israelites are known as a woman, all right? So, but to stick on this topic, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So, Esau is going to get a deadly wound when we come into power. Right now, even though all the hell that he put us through, he only bruised our heel. You know, that's why the, that's why the scripture said that this is a light affliction. Especially compared to the promise that we're going to get. But the promise was never Esau. This is just Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's movie. Okay? It's called a plot twist. So the blessing was never his. But, and I'm only speaking, you know, like I said, I don't believe that brothers, you know, saying this as believing that the, um, promise was his but the way that some you know brothers say it sometimes like Esau just mad because he sold his birthright you know uh, Esau just mad because he trying to get his blessing back the blessing was never his now let's go to the account of it Read through this pretty fast. Make a couple points. So Genesis 25, 22. And the children struggle together. Remember we just read in Genesis 3 and 5. That I'm going to put enmity. Which means hatred between thy seed and her seed. It was a, The hatred was so bad that we was fighting in the womb. Which we're going to read. So and the children struggle together within her. And she said if it be so. Why am I thus? And she went to acquire of Yahweh. And she wanted to know why in the hell. My twin babies is fighting. So we've been fighting from the womb. Think about that. These two nations, as we're about to read next, they can't come together, man. They're two different people. And Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, which have never been before. All right. When a man have a child with a woman, whoever, whatever that man is, that's what the baby going to be. But in this case, all right. Isaac, he actually had two different nationalities come out at once. 
That's the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because he create life and death. He can do what he want. But in Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two manners of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. We all know who that is. And the elder shall serve the younger. All right. So who came out first? Esau. So right here tells you that the promise was already given. First of all, you I mean, I'm just trying to make this um this video shorter. But we all know that the promise came to um, Abraham. And, he t and Yahweh told Abraham that his seed, not as seeds, as in many, but seed. Okay, so the line goes through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So it was already foretold that, you know, Esau wasn't going to get the blessing. Just like Ishmael ain't get the blessing. And his other six children that he had with Keturah ain't get the blessing. All right? So in Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two manners of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all, all over like a hairy garment, and, the, and they call his name Esau. And that's how we know that Esau is a so-called white man, because the one thing that babies do when they come out 99% of the time they're crying and when you're crying you're straining and when you're crying if you don't have no melanin you're going to be red now if you go on google and you type in you know a white baby you know being born you'll see how red that baby is because that baby is straining from crying a lot of stress is on that baby getting pushed out so blood for uh, show forth through his screen, um, through his skin, which that's what Esau mean, I Joshua. So, and after that came his brother out. See, he ain't giving no description of him because he was natural. He came from the dust of the ground, which means he was a so-called dark-skinned man. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was three score years old when she buried him. All right? So the promise was never Esau's. The reason that Esau even sold his birthright, because the Lord put the spirit on him to do it, because it was never his from the beginning. Never his from the beginning. And... That's why the scripture says this. Now I'm going to end it right here. I just I just had to get that off my chest because sometimes, you know, you hear brothers, like I said, that they don't do it on purpose, but it's just like to a person who don't understand, they might, a person who don't um, really have the understanding, they might actually take their words for face, for face value and be like, oh, what you mean? So basically, we stole, we stole the blessing. We ain't steal the blessing. The blessing was already foretold. The blessing was already predestinated. But the storyline had to play out. And that's the way that the storyline played out. It was a plot twist. First of all, his name uh, he named us Jacob, which Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So Jacob's name was an omen nomen, which is a name prediction, which means he's a supplanter. So that means he's a trickster. And guess hang and how did he um you know so-called steal the blessing even though it was his? He just basically played his role in the movie. He acted out his name. He supplanted Esau. All right? He supplanted his father to make him think that he was Esau, so he got the blessing. But anyways, we'll end it right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start from seven. I'm gonna start from seven. Just to get a little little meat off the bone, as Apostle Tahar says. So it said, then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first? 
and the beginning of it that followeth. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob handheld the first the hill of Esau. So that means that's a symbolization of us pulling Esau down from his rulership. So everything is symbolic. Okay. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. So the story always been that Abraham, Isaac and Jacob were going to have they were going to inherit the promise from the beginning. All right. So Jacob just played out his name, which his name means supplanter. All right. He supplanted, you know, his father to believe that he was Esau and his father blessed him. It's just part of the storylines, a plot twist. But yeah, Esau never was meant to get the blessing it, we didn't steal the blessing it was already foretold so hopefully this video was edifying and shalom